Hello, hello you guys. Today I will be doing an experiment to get sales without using silicone. We will be using an item that most of you already have in your homes, Dawn dish soap. That's right, Dawn dish soap. So let's get started and give it a go. So the paints that I'll be using today, I have this Lix Liquitex fluorescent orange. I have this uh, Liquitex here. Uh, it's a green. I'll list it in the description. And then I have Arteza Paints Gray. The base we will be using will be Amsterdam Titanium White. So the paints are mixed five to one. And that's five parts Floetrol, one part paint. But these paints all have a different um, thickness. So some of them are thicker than the others. So I'm gonna go and add some more Floetrol uh, to them. Uh, this titanium white is very thick. So let's add another part to it, okay? So that'll make six parts Floetrol for our base, the titanium white. So the paints are mixed five to one. And that's five parts Floetrol, one part paint. But these paints all have a different um, thickness. So some of them are thicker than the others. So I'm gonna go and add some more Floetrol uh, to them. Uh, this titanium white is very thick. So let's add another part to it. Okay. So that'll make six parts Floetrol for our base, the titanium white. And that's better than it was because it was very thick. Let's see. So that one is thinner. And there's two. Okay. This green definitely need another one. So this will be six parts for this green. And it's thick, but it's going back in the cup. Pretty much uh, doesn't create a mound. It just uh, disappears in the cup. Okay, I think that that's good consistency. These two are better. I'm going to add one more part of floor trial to the white. So that'll bring the parts to seven. Okay. Seven parts floor trial to the one part paint for my base, Amsterdam titanium white.
Um, what I'm going to do is just put a little bit in each one. I'm trying to grip it so that I can hold on to it. Okay. I'm going to do two demonstrations on this first one. I'm going to try to spray the Dawn dish soap on top of the paints after I've poured them. Okay. On the second demonstration, I'm going to add the Dawn soap into the paints. Okay. So that's why I'm going to do this one first because I don't want the Dawn inside the paints when I do it. Also, the base will not get any Dawn uh, dish soap added into it um, when it gets done. And I'll use some of this paint in the uh, pour as well, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is put a base on. Okay. This will be the first time I do this, you guys. Try that little pour. Okay, I don't know what uh, order to go in, so I love the paints gray. Let's try the paints gray first. Let's do a little bit of white. This probably is a lot for a little coaster, but I wanted to do the coaster so that I could do two small surfaces, um, you know, with the two different demonstrations. So I'll probably be just wasting paint today, but it'd be good to do this demonstration so that I can see what results I'll get as well. Okay, I really think that's enough paint on such a small surface. Let's see what we get. Okay. So I'm just going to, let's see, scratch it out because it's a lot of paint that's on there. Gloves. Okay, now I'm equipped. And it kind of looks like We already have cells, but not for sure. I know that there was colors right there supposed to be up under that white paint, <laughs> so... I didn't lift that like I was supposed to. But that's okay. I'm experimenting, so. Let's see what we get. It's 
Hopefully that next one will be better. Okay, so I see some little bubbles. Let's torch. Okay. Let's see what we'll get. I'm going to attempt to just put the uh, squirt gun nozzle inside here instead of wasting my uh, soap. So let's see what happens. And it may be too thick. Let's see if it'll come out. Let's do a test over here. Okay, that's too thick. What we're gonna do is put a little bit in the bottle and add water to it and just skeet it, squirt it, however you say it, on top. Okay, I did a little squirt test to make sure we have a screen. See? Okay, now let's see, hopefully, <laughs> Doesn't mess it up, but if so, oh well. This is just an experiment. So, okay. And so, you know, it's going to have the bubbles because of shaking it up to mix it with the water. So, let me try to pop these bubbles. And then we'll come back to see how this dries. I'm seeing a little reaction here, you guys. I know you can't see it, but it's some tiny, tiny little bubbles on the surface here, especially here. Oh, they're so fine. Let me bring it down so you can see, because that's awesome. Okay, look at what we have here. You see those? They're very, very tiny cells. Very tiny. And look at this paint here. Isn't that beautiful? Wow, I love that. I'll try to keep it for a skin. Okay, so time for the next demonstration. I do not have any of the little uh, droppers, uh, pipettes. So I'm just going to have to try to uh, do it by hand. So hopefully I can do small amounts to make it even. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. One. Two, uh oh, three, four, five. That one might have a little bit more. It, it oozes out a little bit more. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so just five drops each color except the base. Okay, mix it a little bit. We're gonna put our base on it first. Since the paint is going to spread, I don't think I need as much on the base. Okay. 
I think I use this one first. This one has already started to develop cells, you guys. I don't think we need too much paint. Okay, so there's a big difference already. And I have tons of bubbles. Okay. See there? We're just going to spray. I don't want to mess that up because I want to help keep that. So I'm going to just try to do it here. This is really awesome, you guys. I really like this. I definitely will do this again. Oh, I see some beautiful cells there. So, yes. From my understanding, uh, the dish soap is not at all like the silicone. And you don't have to worry about cleaning it off the surface. So, you can still um, seal it without cleaning it. But I will find out. I don't know if it's too much paint on here or not. I'm going to take some more off. I think I'm just going to leave it. I 
Uh, I want to get some of this off. Because it's so much darker than the rest of it. Okay, I think that's good. And I'll bring you down so that you can see this one. I need to torch because I see some bubbles and let me get my hands clean. I think that bubble was gone. It was a big bubble in there. I saw. Okay, here we are. It's pretty awesome how it creates that, you know, those cells. I really like those cells there. I think it's beautiful. Both of them are beautiful. Tell me which one you like the best. Do you like the one with the Dawn added in, which is this one? Or do you like this one with the Dawn sprayed on top? So I'll come back after. Let me turn off the ring light. There you go. Look at that. Some kind of reaction, right? Awesome. And I'm going to come back after they dry so that you can see if there's a difference, you know, from what they are right now and how they change or if they change. So if you like this video, you guys, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscription button. Make sure that you click on that bell so that you receive a notification when a new video is posted. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, you guys.